Hello, welcome to this video. So today I'm getting allergy tested and I figured I'd vlog it because I don't do anything on a typical day and I'm doing something today. So ever since I had COVID a year and a month ago, I've just been eternally stuffy. And before I even got COVID, I suspected that I might have gluten intolerances. I've gotten hives before after eating gluten and generally if I consistently eat gluten and like large amounts of gluten consistently, I will get joint pain. So I feel like I might have a gluten intolerance and possibly dairy too. Dairy kind of does the same thing. It, it makes my joints hurt and it just both gluten and dairy just kind of make me feel sluggish. Eggs make my stomach hurt. Now, I don't know if that means I'm allergic to eggs or if that's just like what eggs do, but you know, I might be allergic to eggs. And just generally, I feel like I developed like worse allergies after COVID. I don't know how that works. Um, I don't know if that's a thing. So I actually got POTS after getting COVID and POTS can affect your hormones basically because POTS is a form of dysautonomia which is dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system controls hormones and stuff like that and when I went into the allergist she actually said when I mentioned this to her that my allergies got worse after COVID she said that it actually can be a there can be a hormonal element to that so it is a thing but I am eternally stuffy and I feel like I'm also definitely allergic to pollen. I mean, isn't everyone allergic to pollen? And yeah, I just kind of want to know exactly what I'm allergic to to avoid it. I've also had some instances, instances where I've eaten food and my throat sometimes does this thing where like right around here, it feels like it's like closing, but it's not actually closing. My oxygen's always fine when it happens and like it's not actually closing it just feels really like restricted and tight and like i'm thinking maybe it could be allergies and like if i don't have allergies to any foods then maybe it is acid reflux i don't know i'm just looking into different things i also asked the allergist about this and she said that because this usually happens to me after drinking coffee the most i mean it's happened a couple times before with broccoli and like one time before with popcorn but this overwhelmingly happens to me with coffee she said it's most likely just the acid in the coffee so yeah yeah ever since covid i've just had trouble breathing sometimes my airway will just feel really tight in general like in this area i started taking antihistamines every day a couple months after i got covid and the antihistamines seem to like reduce how often i get that really tight chest feeling so yeah i'm thinking maybe i have allergies or maybe like something about covid made me more susceptible to allergies i did have slight allergies before covid that would only like act up in the springtime I, I would just feel really drowsy and slightly sick but they were nowhere near as like bad as i get them now so yeah join me on my day to get allergy tested i'm gonna eat food before i go my appointment is in two and a half hours i'm going to eat food and try to study for my one of my law finals because I have two law finals that are due tomorrow one of them is just a written answer final with three short written answers and the other one's an actual quiz that you are timed and you have to open it and then do three written answers so the other one I get to turn in on a word document and I can take as long as I need but the other one I don't know if there's a time limit on the quiz and I don't want to open it to check so um I haven't been paying attention to the one class with the quiz final because I just, my brain checked out this semester. You know when you have those moments where like sometimes you're really motivated and you get like straight A's and then sometimes your brain's like, I'm not reading anything. Anything you read, I'm not going to absorb it. Any lecture that you watch, you're going to get distracted immediately. That's what's been happening in my brain. So I haven't watched any lecture in one of the classes this whole semester it's a seven week class so for the past couple days i've been watching i've been going through the i'm guessing there's over a hundred lectures that i have to watch um because i just didn't pay attention i figured i thought the final would be multiple choice like our midterm was it's not it's a written answer we have to do three case analyses and i have not learned any of the cases we talked about so yeah, I'm gonna eat and then take my notes on those lectures for that and then go to my allergy testing appointment and yeah
This is hard to do <laughs> one-handed. I'm making that tuna, or not tuna, that salmon bowl that went viral on TikTok, except I made it with tuna for two days, canned tuna for two days, and then I did with um, like canned salmon, except it was in a pouch yesterday. And I was like, is that too much fish? Like, doesn't fish have a lot of mercury? So I had leftover chicken in the fridge. So I'm just doing that today. And then I'm adding mayo, soy sauce, and horseradish because I don't have sriracha and this is like kind of spicy, but I also don't like super spicy food, but horseradish, I don't know. It just, it's like cocktail sauce. It reminds me of cocktail sauce and I really vibe with cocktail sauce. Oh, and I usually put this on top for Takake. Also, I've tried this with an avocado like she has in the video in the TikTok, but like, I don't know if my avocados just suck, but I don't taste it and it doesn't add anything to the meal. And I just get way too full with, with like more food in the bowl because this is already like a good amount of food for me. I have pots, so I get full really quickly. But yeah, I don't put avocado on it. It looks like mush, but it tastes so good. of the U.S. Constitution in Provence, except of any present emolument, office, to receive more favorable treatment. Okay, so for some reason today, it's like really cold. It's 68. I'm in Tucson, Arizona, which is in the middle of the desert, and it's usually pretty hot here, but now that it's turning into winter and it's fall now, it's finally cooling down, and it's been in the 80s and 90s recently, but today it's 68. So I'm wearing long sleeves and long leggings because it's cold. But yeah, we're gonna be leaving in 10 minutes for my allergy testing appointment. So I didn't actually film them pricking me, but overall it wasn't bad at all. It just felt like little scratches with a fingernail on my back. Um, in the first clip that you saw before this one, they just had me sit on the edge of the bed upright and they just pricked me one by one. I've seen that some people get a whole panel of prick tests done at once. Um, I think it probably just depends on which clinic you go to, but yeah, it wasn't painful at all for me at least. Um, it actually kind of felt kind of good, like a back scratch. And I really wasn't itchy. The only place that itched was the histamine control prick which you can see at the top right of my back but um it the itching wasn't even bad i didn't even want to itch it that bad and it went down pretty quickly so these are my allergens i'm back home and um she said anything above a three is considered an allergy she said my most allergic allergy is palo verde trees and uh, whatever this weed is And yeah, that was my environment test. And now I'm just doing more school. Um, my back isn't itchy or anything. The only spot that was really itchy where they poked me was with the histamine control prick. If you didn't know, they prick you with straight up histamine and then they also prick you with saline and the histamine is supposed to react because everybody reacts to histamine. And if the histamine doesn't react, that means you need to redo the test because the test isn't working. And um, the saline is to make sure that you don't react to the saline. I think to make sure that you just don't have sensitive skin and aren't reacting to the allergens just from being sensitive. I think that's why. You might want to Google that one. But yeah, I'm not itchy anymore. The histamine prick just kind of felt like a mosquito bite for a couple minutes, and then they put this cream on it to make it not itchy anymore afterwards. And yeah, it's not really itchy anymore. It's kind of a breeze. I have to go back to get the prick test for the food allergens. I don't know why they just couldn't do them today. And then they also sent me, they also gave me a sheet of paper to go to a lab to get blood testing to test me, my blood for food allergens. The Supreme Court devised various judicial- Um, the intros for my school's lectures scares the shit out of me. They have two different ones. And this one, I don't know why, it just sounds so scary to me. Let me play it.
it sounds like a horror movie or something and it's like so loud too hello ignore my pajamas back there i thought i was gonna be doing more today but i'm really not i'm just kind of doing my homework the rest of the day and i just got hit with a huge wave of fatigue i don't know if that's because of the allergy testing is that a thing let me know in the comments if you know i think it's so funny how i can see how tired i am in these last clips but yes allergy testing can result in fatigue. So if you were planning on getting this done on your lunch break or going back to school afterwards, you might want to plan around that and expect fatigue afterwards. But yeah, I just got really drowsy and tired and I cannot comprehend a single word my lectures are saying and I really just wanna go to sleep. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I guess this is just gonna be like a vlog getting allergy tested and like nothing else. But yeah, I have my blood, my food blood test tomorrow and then I have to wait for my appointment with the allergist to get the results from that. So that's going to be a while. So I'm not gonna put it in the same vlog. And yeah, that's it, let me know your experience getting allergy tested. And yeah, thanks for watching.